hello everyone welcome to my channel ps design in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this wallpaper in adobe illustrator let's begin let's create a new document of 1920 by 1080 px set the color mode to rgb and ppi to 72 First of all, make sure the fill color is set to none. And now let's create the polygon. Hold down the Alt key to draw the polygon from the center. Now go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then Transform. Make sure the horizontal and the vertical values are the same. Now we need a total of 25 polygons. So set the number of copies to 24. Now if you see the stroke size of these polygons are not the same. We need to make sure the stroke size of the polygons are the same. So now go ahead and hit the cancel button. And now go to here, click on a stroke and then align the stroke to center. Once again go to effect, distort and transform and then transform and still we need to make sure the horizontal and vertical values are the same and set the number of copies to 24 because we need a total of 25 polygons and now you can set the angle to whatever you like but for this tutorial I am going to set the angle to 10 degree and now click on the ok button and now we need to be able to select every single one of this polygon separately but we cannot do it so in order to do that we need to expand it make sure the object is still selected and then go to object and click on expand appearance now you can see all the polygons are now separated but they are in a group so in order to be able to select every single one of these polygons we need to ungroup it now just right click and click on ungroup now we can select every single one of them separately. Now we need to find a color palette for this tutorial. So go to Google and type color palette. I have already downloaded a color palette and imported it into Adobe Illustrator. Now we need to create a few rectangles. But first, make sure that the stock color is set to none as we need only the fill color. Now create the rectangle and apply the colors from the image using the eyedropper tool. Now make 4 copies. Hold the wall key down and drag to make a copy. And now press Ctrl plus D to make more copies. And now apply the rest of the colors to them using the eyedropper tool. In order to access the select tool temporarily, just hold the Ctrl key down. And now select all of them and click on horizontal align center and then vertical distribute center now we need a total of 25 colors made from these five colors as we have a total of 25 polygons now select all the rectangles i know they are squares but let's just call them rectangles now go to object and then blend and then blend options now set the specified steps to 5 that means we will get 5 rectangles from one rectangle including the original one now click on ok and now go to object blend and then click on make and this is how we get 25 colors for 25 polygons. Now we need to turn this blend group into separate rectangles. So in order to do that, go to object and then click on expand and click OK. 
and now if you click on them you can see that there is still a group in order to separate them we need to ungroup them just right click and click on ungroup and now we need to apply the colors to the polygons just select one by one and apply the colors using the eyedropper tool once you are done just move the rectangle aside so that we can apply the rest of the colors easily without getting confused Now I am going to fast forward these steps to save time. Also when you are applying the color make sure you are applying the fill color not the stroke color. Now once you are done applying the colors, just select all the polygons and group them. Right click and click on group. Now we need to align the object in the center. So click on horizontal align center and vertical align center. And just make it larger to fill the whole artboard. And now we need to hide the extra areas of this object. So we need to create a rectangle which is the same size of the document which is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Now align the rectangle in the middle of the artboard. If you can't find this toolbar, just go to window and then click on align. Now click on horizontal align center and then vertical align center. And now select everything, click on the select menu and then click on all. You can just press ctrl a on your keyboard to select everything. Now we need to create a clipping mask. Just right click and click on make clipping mask. And we are done. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.